Hi, I'm reporter Lori Celine giving you a brief rundown on some of the stories we are working on in this week's edition of the House News. In the news, J.R. Logan covers a Penasco area, a sequoia, that has rejected more than $2 million in grant funds because of concerns over a proposal to bury a three-quarter mile section of a ditch and run it through a pipe. And Cody Hooks asks, what does it take to get to school every day? When one 14-year-old girl from Three Peaks wasn't provided a bus to her school in Ojo Caliente, she started making calls. It took weeks, but now she's enrolled in a high school in Colfax County, dependent on a host family and a slew of volunteers just to get to classes. Also in the news, I went into the Taos County Adult Detention Center to interview Albert Hunsaker, one of two people accused of allegedly murdering Two Peaks resident Naomi Cheney. He says he had to make a tough decision and chose to protect his family. In sports, the Taos Fall Invite took place at Taos Country Club on September 12th. Josh Fambro won men's division, draining a 12 birdie during an extra hole playoff against Raton's Jason Parker. Read more about Arsenio Trujillo's coverage at the, of the event and the Taos Tigers golf preview in this week's edition. In Tempo, Responsible Recycling meets over-the-top creative fabulousness in the Glam Trash Fashion Show. It returns to Taos Saturday, September 17th, starting at 4. Close to 30 contestants will strut the runway, competing for prizes. Admission is free. Everyone's invited. And that's it for this week's sneak preview of the Taos News. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.